you might have heard the advice that says never skip your meals. It is not healthy for you. But is it really healthy for our body not to skip meals? Is our body designed for digesting food three times a day? Would it really be harmful for our body if we regularly skipped meals? And what is the connection between food and longevity? Is the secret for staying healthy and living a longer life reliant on your hunger? In this video, we are going to find it out. Researchers have shown that it is possible to halt the aging process with very few lifestyle modifications and maybe even reverse the process altogether. Aging has been studied by the researchers for over 5000 years, and only within the last 20 years we have come up with 9 hallmarks of aging. These hallmarks of fundamental causes of aging are Genomic instability Telomere attrition Epigenetic alterations Loss of proteostasis Deregulated nutrient sensing Mitochondrial dysfunction Cellular senescence Stem cell excision and Altered intercellular communication I can understand that not all of us are familiar with these terminologies I used above, so we will not be talking about those hallmarks today. Rather, we will be talking about the cause that leads to these changes that happen to our body over time that causes aging. This concept of aging is a little bit complicated, and it requires one to have some basic knowledge of genetics. Let us look at the picture. We all have 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell. Each chromosome is made of a long strand of DNA molecule. Portion of that molecule which carries genetic information is called a gene. A gene is what gives a cell its identity. Gene determines what kind of cell it should be. This is why the cells of the liver and the brain are not the same. Liver cell genes will code specific types of proteins that will make it a liver cell. And the brain cell genes will code different types of proteins that will make it a brain cell. Now let's talk about the question at hand, that is, why do we age? Scientists believe that as we get older, our cells start to lose information. And that happens due to the stress that is put on the cell as we get older. The biggest stress cells can have is the damaged DNA. When that happens, the cell has to stop doing whatever it was doing and repair its genes. It has to bring the proteins from places of the cells where everything is going fine, working perfectly. So bringing the proteins from there also stops the normal cellular function. Next, it has to unpack the tightly packed DNA, fix the damage and repack it. As we get older, our cells lose the efficiency to fix these damages. As a result, the information is gradually lost and the cell's functionality starts to decline. The organ stops working and we die. When the genes in a chromosome are tightly packed, they cannot code anything. For gene expression to happen, the part of the DNA that has that specific gene needs to be unpacked. Only then it will be able to express itself. So if a cell has all of its genes unpacked, it will start to create proteins that is of no use. For example, let's think about the brain cells. If the genes for the liver cells, those are also present in the brain cells, start to express themselves, then we will have a liver growing inside of our brains and we will die. So it is important for the correct genes to express in correct places and certain genes need to be kept tightly packed so that they cannot produce unwanted effects. This is where the sirtuins come into the picture. These enzymes are found within the nucleus, cytoplasm and mitochondria of the cell. They are the ones who stop these unwanted genes from opening up. As we get older, the sirtuins starts to get inactive and diseases like cancer ensues. Sirtuins are largely involved in the DNA repair and healing. It is believed that by reactivating the sirtuins, it is possible to keep the genetic information intact and therefore halting the aging process. Sirtuins only come to play when the organism is under a threat, like suffering from hunger or running away from a tiger. We hardly face any of these conditions nowadays. We have abundant food stock and we usually don't have life-threatening events. So the question is, how do we make our body to feel threatened? One way we can mimic that by running few times a week so that our body thinks it is under stress and it should start repairing itself and prepare for the upcoming assault. And the other is to stay hungry a couple of times a week or every day skip a meal or two. As a result, your body will start to turn on these precious sirtuins and increase the production of NAD. 
NAD is the abbreviated form of nicotinamide adenine and dinucleotide. It is the primary fuel that sirtuins use to do their job. NAD production can be boosted by exercise, fasting, eating dairy products, fish, yeast, mushrooms, green leaf vegetables, all are rich sources of NAD. Supplements like nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide mononucleotide can be taken. Prolonged exposure to sunlight has shown to have decreased production of the NAD. Don't drink alcohol because alcohol tends to interfere with the pathways of NAD metabolism. We have to be cautious about the starvation and malnutrition though. There is a fine line between being starved and malnourished and being a little bit hungry. It is better to pulse the process and let the body to recover. Doing intermittent fasting can be a better option, but remember not to overdo it. Studies have shown that a reduction in calorie intake can increase lifespan of an animal up to 30%. It is also proven that our body works best at repairing itself when we are a little bit hungry. Now, let's talk about age reversal. So far we have been talking about repairing the body and halting the age. How about reversing the age? Is it really possible? A short answer to that question, it is theoretically possible, but we don't exactly know how to do it. This is the deep level of aging we are talking about right now. Researchers believe that there is actually a DNA clock that tells our body how old we are. As the clock dictates the time, the body acts accordingly. This is done by the process called methylation of the DNA. As we grow older, more methylation happens to the DNA and we don't yet know why this happens. It is believed that if we can remove this methylation process from the body, we can make it rejuvenate again and become younger. This is essentially resetting the clock back to the start and getting a new life. This process can be repeated over and over again until you don't want to live any longer. Current technology is limited to what we can do about that, but scientists are making progress every day. The day is probably not so far when humans will be immortals. If you have made it to this far of this video, then I can safely assume you liked it. If you do, then please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if possible. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and as always, thanks for watching.